The new free Shopify theme horizon is in and the old dawn theme is out the door. Or is it? The new horizon theme has improved structure and a lot of other functionality that the dawn theme doesn't have, but is now the right moment to switch from dawn to horizon? Stick around to make an informed decision. I'm pretty sure that you already know that Shopify launched 10 more free themes with the summer editions this year, the horizon theme, which is a great theme. It has a bunch of features that the Dawn theme doesn't have. And a lot of people are asking themselves, should they change to the horizon theme? Should they switch over from the Dawn theme? So these are the 10 new free themes, or can I say that is just one free theme? So it's just the horizon theme and it is styled in 10 ways. They have different names, but it's the same theme. This is the same concept as they were doing with the Dawn theme. We had 13 themes based on the Dawn theme. So if you go to your theme store and you sort for free themes, you're going to have all the themes in here. The themes that have this new badge over here are the themes that are based on the Horizon theme. And the other ones are the themes that are based on the Dawn theme. So we have here 23 themes, but we actually have two and they are styled in different ways. 13 of them are the Dawn theme styled differently and 10 of them are the Horizon theme styled differently. So the only difference between these themes, the JSON data or the styling and the settings on the theme, the files as well, because they have different images and different colors and everything. So this set of settings and files make this theme look different from this one, for example. But behind this settings and files, the code base is the same for all these themes. And if I go here and I open one up, you can see that this theme is at the version 101. And if I go to another one that is based on the Horizon theme, it's on the same version. And the same goes for the themes that are based on the Dawn theme. So this one, for example, it's 15.3.0. And if I go to another theme, like the Dawn theme, and I see the version, it's the exact same version because the code base is the exact same one. But now what's the difference between the Dawn theme or a theme that is based on the Dawn theme and the Horizon theme? And the answer is the structure. Now the structure of the JSON data inside the Horizon theme is much different and allows for more customization. And that means that on the Horizon theme, you can now customize more than you could on the Dawn theme. And in order for me to explain this new JSON structure that I'm talking about, I'm gonna go to my store, which is using now the Horizon theme. And I'm gonna go to the customizer just to show you how things work inside the customizer. This new theme, the Horizon theme, has something that is called a global block. And that means that we can use now blocks everywhere in the theme, where in the Dawn theme, each of the sections had their own blocks. So I'm gonna open another theme that I have on this store, which is the Dawn theme. And I'm gonna show you the difference between how this two work. So I'm gonna customize the Dawn theme. This is Dawn and this is the Horizon theme. So inside the Dawn theme, we have sections. So if I go and I add the section, this is the list of my sections. And if I add one of these sections, if the section allows blocks, it's going to show the blocks that are allowed on this particular section. So if I'm adding here image with text, for example, I have this blocks added automatically and I can go ahead and add one more block if I want. So I can add block, but the list is very limited because each of these sections on the Dawn theme, they have their own blocks for this particular section. So a block from this section cannot be used on a different section. Thing which changed in the Horizon theme. So if I go to the Horizon theme, I have something that is called a global block. So any of the sections that are allowed to take blocks will take global blocks as well. So for example, if I go and I add here a new section, let's say I'm going to add this hero banner. And now I'm going to be seeing the hero banner settings. But if I go out of it, I can see the section over here. And then it has some blocks underneath. And if that particular section allows blocks, then you're going to be able to add more. And if you click this button, add block, you're going to have a much larger list of blocks that you can add. These are all global blocks. And as you can see, we can add a bunch of different things. So we can add a logo in there if you want. 
and it's going to be displayed there. We can go and we can add here an accordion, for example, as a block. So we have a block in there and the accordion has its own blocks underneath. So if I want to add something inside one of these, I can go ahead and I can add more elements or sub blocks to the blocks that I just added. And as you can see, this gives you a lot of more flexibility when it comes to building sections and to designing a store. This is a great system, but let me take you back in time and show you how things were before and the progression that Shopify had. So if you've been working with Shopify for a while, you may remember the debut theme. The debut theme was Shopify 1.0 and that means that the JSON was stored in one single file and that was a little bit limited. I have here a debut a theme and I can show you how that looked like. If you would have customized your theme, every setting on that theme would have been stored on this file, which is settings data JSON. And you would have had there the data for your index, for example. So the content for index, which is your homepage, would have been stored in here. All the settings, the product page, everything was in here. One file, one long file, you had all your settings in here. This was Shopify 1.0. Then we went to Shopify 2.0, which allowed different JSON files for different pages or different areas of your store. So for example, the Dawn theme is a 2.0 theme. And if we go and we edit code, we find in there inside the templates, we're gonna have a lot of JSON templates and these are for product pages, these are for pages and so on. This gave us more flexibility when building pages and using sections. And now with the horizon theme, if I go inside the horizon theme, we have one extra thing. So if I go and I edit code, we still have the templates and additionally, now we have a new folder, which is blocks. And inside blocks, we have all the global blocks that I talked about earlier. And these are the blocks that can be used in those sections that you have on your store. Now you can use global blocks on your uh, sections to make them unique and express yourself better. If you've been watching my videos, you know that I make a lot of speed optimization uh, videos. And my first question was, is this horizon theme better than the dawn theme? Because the dawn theme was really good in terms of speed. I mean, if you don't add a lot of customization, you don't add a lot of apps on it, the dawn theme can perform really well. But the question is, does the horizon theme perform the same or even better? Because the structure is better and the theme should be faster. So I've set up this store on which I have the two themes. So the horizon theme and the dawn theme, they both have the same customization. So it's basically just a hero banner and a couple of products, nothing more. I have a bunch of apps installed, but they are not activated in inside the customizer. So if I go to customizer and app embeds, everything is turned off except this one. And now it's gonna be turned off as well. So I'm going to save that. And I'm gonna go back and let's check on the uh, Dawn theme. So I'm gonna go to customize and to app embeds. And in here, everything is turned off. So now in theory, these two themes should perform the same. I mean, if Horizon is better, maybe it's faster, but we can see the difference between them. So I'm just gonna view this theme and I'm gonna copy the link and I'm gonna go with it to the speed test. So on page speed insights, I'm gonna test the homepage for the Horizon theme. Let's see the results. And this is it, 71. We see a little bit of LCP, but this is quite good, 71 out of the box. And the desktop version is 77. It has a bit of problem here with the blocking time. These are some apps probably, but overall, I think the theme does quite well. I mean, if I uninstall some of the apps and I compress some of the images, I might get a better result. Uh, we have here some LCP. The LCP is coming from the hero banner. The image can be a bit compressed, probably. I have some images that are too large, which can be compressed and reduced in size also. But uh, overall, 71 and 77, it's a good score. So let's go and test the Dawn theme. I'm going to publish it and I'm going to test that as well. And now because I published the Dawn theme, I'm gonna go back to the speed test and I'm going to run it again. And hopefully we're gonna get a different score. And here is the result for the Dawn theme. As you can see, 
we have 56 and 78 we had before 71 and 74 for the horizon team so i think it does a little bit better we have here a little bit more lcp this also comes from the hero banner that image can be compressed some apps can be uninstalled but with the same exact setup we get a result that is a little bit worse so 71 for the horizon theme on mobile and 56 for the dawn theme i guess horizon wins in this department the theme is a little bit better okay the questions now who is this theme for if you have a store already which is built on the dawn theme you can think about migrating to the horizon theme but the thing is you will have to rebuild it completely because the sections on the horizon theme differ the structure differs and you will have to rebuild everything on the horizon theme so if you have a lot of work put in your dawn theme you can just keep it for now the, the dawn theme is a great theme and is going to be around i'm not sure if shopify will update it or it's going to release new versions they stopped releasing updates earlier this year they might add some more on it but the structure will remain the same i don't think that they will adapt the dawn theme to the new system and i think that the horizon theme will become the new standard so if you are on the dawn theme you can just keep it until you're ready to revamp your store and then you can build on the horizon theme but until then you just can keep the dawn theme the heck there are people who are still using the debut theme and it still works so there is no reason to rush and update to the horizon theme and for sure not now in the beginning every software in the beginning has some bugs and they are fixing that now they already pushed one change so if i go here we are now at the version 1.0.1 i'm pretty sure that they used some data from users to patch some things that were not perfect in the beginning so better wait until this theme gets a little bit better and things are more developed and then you can just transition to it from the dawn theme if you're a developer you should focus on the horizon theme because this will most likely become the standard the shopify standard most likely in the next period all the themes from the shopify theme store will follow this structure and it will be an advantage for you to know how to work with this structure so from now on switch from dawn to horizon if you ask me the dawn theme will probably have the same fate as the debut theme it's going to be sunsetted at one point not anytime soon not probably this year but sometime in the future it will be sunsetted and the horizon theme will take its spot so again if you're building a new store go with the horizon theme if you already have a store with the dawn theme keep your dawn theme for now and maybe later if your store does well then you can revamp it or redesign it using a theme based on the horizon theme and if you're a designer you should learn the new horizon structure because this is the future this summer edition also brought some improvements on the customizer now you can copy and paste a section a block whatever you want from here you can copy it on a different page and so on you can go ahead and rename sections now i mean everything is getting better and better and the customizer changes are available on all themes but the star of this summer edition is for sure the horizon theme which looks awesome feels nice and it has features that the dawn theme doesn't have like this discount option inside the cart everything is smoother but that doesn't mean that you cannot transform your dawn theme to look and feel like this and have these options so if you want something in particular like this discount code this can be easily added to the dawn theme so bottom line if you have a store on the dawn theme and everything is coded and you have a lot of customizations on it just keep it for now until at least you have a better version of the theme so now we are at 101 wait a little bit more but consider it for your next revamp okay now that you know the difference from the dawn theme to the horizon theme you can watch this video next but i'm going to talk more about how to choose the perfect theme for your shopify store click it and i'll see you there